So here we have this quadratic function that we want to graph. Again, you can always graph of any, just about any function by plugging in different values of x that you choose and see where it lands and then you can sort of plot it from there. This is a quadratic, so we have some special rules with that so we can find what it looks like almost exactly without having to guess. This is already written in the form that we like, actually. If we have a square or a quantity with the x's squared plus some simple number, then we can find the vertice or the minimum or maximum point right away. So to find that, it's the opposite of this number for your x and then just this for your y. The opposite because if you plug in a positive 2 here, you'll get 0 here, and then the y is just the same. So it's, it's this quadratic lifted up by 1. So the vertice is at positive 2 for x, so 1, 2 here, and then positive 1 for y. Now how do we know if this is a maximum or a minimum? Well, it has to be a positive coefficient in front of the x squared to be a, ma a minimum, so it has to be opening up, a parabola that's opening up, and if there's a negative coefficient in front of that x squared term, then it's going to be opening down a frowny face as opposed to a smiling face. So we can already see, if we multiply this out, if we expand this, then we're going to have a positive x squared. So this is a minimum, it's going to be an opening up parabola or a smiley face. So from here it's pretty straightforward, and then you can just plug in any points that you want to sort of see where it might land. So for example, if we plug in uh, x is equal to 0, we see that we have negative 2 squared plus 1. So that's 4 plus 1, or 5. So we go from here to here. And then it's symmetric about that point, so we can go over 2 and go up here as well. So now we're at 4 and 5, 4 comma 5. So it's just a simple parabola with the minimum at this point of 2 comma 1. And that's it.